Welcome to Bienvenue's How to Become Fluent in French podcast, where we share tips and tricks to help you in your journey to speak French fluently. Hello, everyone. My name is Danielle Hayduck, and I am the founder of Bienvenue French Language School in Hudson, Ohio. In addition to programs for all levels, from preschool to work abroad preparation, we specialize in two fast-track 18-month career trainings for bilingual executive assistant and private school French teacher or tutor. We've also added a three-month au pair program. Today's episode of How to Become Fluent in French is called Words Your French Teacher Won't Teach You. This topic was actually suggested to me by my friend, Professor Richard who just retired from Kent University. He thought it would be fun to teach you the bad words. I think it's good to know some because some French shows have quite extensive screaming matches and it helps to know what they're saying. Now, I've enlisted the help of my daughter, Ava, today. Say hello. Hello. Uh, because I thought it might be interesting to have the opinion of somebody who does not speak French. No, she does not speak French at all. Um, so we're going to, she's going to learn these words with you. So I think it's important for you to know how bad the word or expression you're saying is. Um, I remember that our German exchange students were dropping some insults that we had taught them without discernment. So in order for you to use the rich vocabulary in the right context, I have invented a scale to rank these gros mots, big words as we call them in French. I'll be using a scale of lemons from one lemon to three lemons. So like one lemon is reserved for mild insults or bad words. You can probably use this word in front of your boss if you work in a casual environment or your parents or your siblings and of course your friends. Two lemons means forget the cool boss. Maybe you can use it in front of your truck, a truck driver in front of your friends or your siblings. Three lemons means your friends, maybe, but this is downright rude, like F-bomb rude. So this is where <laughs> you can become creative. And if you're directing these words to towards somebody else, refrain if they belong to a gang, all right? So let's start with some expressions. One lemon words. There's merde. Repeat. Merde. This is the only word that my parents ever allowed themselves to use, and they thought us kids didn't know what they were saying. So it means shit. Merde. Merde. Thank you. <laughs> this one is one that I really like. Aravash. It's very mild. It means, oh, the cow. It actually translates logically into damn. Aravash. Aravash. Say it with more enthusiasm. Oh, la vache. A la vache. Okay. So you can use this expression, the following expression, and you can add on to it anything that you want, turn it into a mild insult. It's espèce de. Repeat. Espèce de. Espèce de. Espèce de. Espèce de. So it means a species of. So you can say... Espèce de con, which means idiot. Say it. Espèce de con. Espèce de con. Now, this word is a one lemon word in French, okay? But it really is a three lemon word in English. Um, it means a word for the female body part that I can't bring myself to utter. So some people will say, see you next Tuesday. <laughs> You're supposed to understand what that means, okay? Uh, so let's do it. Uh, let's, let's repeat that one again. Espèce de con. Espèce de con. Again, espèce de con. Espèce de con. Remember, these are insults. So you want to put some oomph behind them. Espèce de con. Espèce de con. So you can also say espèce d'imbécile. Espèce d'im... What? D'imbécile. <laughs> espèce d'imbécile. Espèce d'imbécile. Imbécile. 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 It's imbécile. Imbécile. Or you can say, espèce de cochon. Espèce de cochon. cochon. Espèce de cochon, which means pig. Oh. But one of my favorites is espèce de vélo. That, espèce de vélo. <laughs> yeah, we, we made that one up, but that means, you know, um, kind of bicycle. A bicycle. 
So um, we're going to try your favorite words with this expression. So I'm going to say espèce de, you repeat espèce de, and then you add your own favorite word to it to make it into an insult. And it can be just about anything under the sun, okay? So, for example, let's say espèce de, espèce, espèce de, and then you put your word to it. Espèce de. Oh, no. But you're supposed to say espèce de and then add it. <laughs> <laughs> espèce de polo espèce de polo what's polo supposed to be oh okay um, alright say let's say I'm trying to say chicken <laughs> oh poulet espèce de poulet espèce de poulet <laughs> espèce de poulet okay that's a good one so here's another one lemon word okay it is <laughs> sorry trou du cul trou du cul it literally is the whole of the ass. <laughs> and this is a, just the one lemon word in French. Even if I would kind of qualify it as a two lemon word in English, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Okay. So let's try that one. Trou du cul. One more time. Trou du cul. Trou du cul. Good. Trou du cul. Trou du cul. Yeah, it's got that C-U-L, which is the A-S-S. And that's Q. Cue. Your ass. Yeah. Sorry. Cue. Cue. Say it. Cue. Good. So here's another good one. Like cul de sac. Cul de sac. Actually, it's, that's right. Cul de sac means the would be the cue of the sac. That's right. So the ass of the sack. Yeah, it's the ass <laughs> of the sack. That's right. <laughs> so here's another great word. Couillon. 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 Now, couillon means one with balls. <laughs> and you hear this one really a lot in southern France. It's sort of like a, a joinder um, in conversation. Couillon. Couillon. And you can say this. You can also say espèce de couillon. Espèce de couillon. Yes, that one, that one works out well. So let's take a look at some two lemon words. <laughs> so here's a good one. Salop. 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 And it means slut. <laughs> and I always remember it because if you put an E in front of it, escalop, it means veal cutlet. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yes. What's the translation then? If it's a literal, is it just... No, that's how I remember it. Oh. No, no. It's salop is the word. Salop. And it means slut. Yes. Okay. So repeat after me. Salop. Salop. You can also say espèce de salop. Espèce de salop. All right. And then here's uh, an extension on that word. Saloperie. Which I guess means sluttery, but I'm not so sure. But saloperie. Um, that's like, oh, really dirty thing. I don't think sort of. sluttery is a word. Well, that's sort of what it means. Okay. So, <laughs> saloperie, saloperie, saloperie. That's a good one. And then, of course, there is the word for whore. Putain. Putain? <laughs> Putain. It's Just spelled P U T A I N. Putain. Yeah, you have to use the, the like, P U U U in French. Putain. That just reminds me of like. What's that Canadian dish? I don't remember. Poutine? Poutine? Is it the same thing? Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to ask my Canadian friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, all right. So you can add like all sorts of words to poutine. Um, <laughs> but you have to be really careful because if you add to it de merde, which I guess would be like whore of shit. Then you've added like a whole new level of rudeness and you've actually gone over the edge into three lemon territory. So pretend merde is like really when so you're good. really angry. Yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> and now, of course, let's go there. Let's go right to what you've been waiting for. The three lemon words. What faire foutre? One more time. Vat faire foutre. Vat faire foutre. That means go F yourself. <laughs> Vat faire foutre. Vat faire foutre. Now here's a good one. 
<clears throat> sorry, it gets harder for me to say these um, <laughs> when I get into the German words. Okay, you wrote them. I, I, I know I did. <laughs> Enculé. 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 Now, once again, you have the word ass, C U L. Enculé really means uh, effed in the ass. If you're gonna do this, say the words. <laughs> okay, so fucked in the ass. Okay. <laughs> so re repeat after me. On coulé. On coulé. Okay, good. So now we have another one. Um, this means full of shit, but in in French, it really is a three lemon word. In English, full of shit is kind of like you know one lemon. <laughs> but in French, in French, or oh, maybe two. In French, it's really definitely three word territory, three lemon territory. Enfoiré. 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 And then here's one that I really like. Tu me fais chier. One more time. Tu me fais chier. Tu me fais chier. Chier. Tu me fais chier. And that means you make me death. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> and then of course <laughs> that's really bad. And of course now there's this one which is what we should finish up with. Tagger, which means shut up. Tagger. 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 That doesn't sound bad. No, it doesn't, but it's still <laughs> very disrespectful. <laughs> if you say to somebody, Tagger then you mean really, you know, you mean business, and they won't take it nicely. I feel like to me, fache, to me, fache, to me, fache. It's pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> it is. It is. It definitely is. So remember that the key to becoming fluent is speaking. It doesn't matter how many podcasts, shows, or how much radio you listen to. You cannot become fluent if the words don't actually come out of your mouth. Have you ever dreamed of being fluent in French? It's easier than everybody makes it out to be. Follow us for tips and tricks to help you become fluent in the language of love. A bientôt.